Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I decided that I would sit down and I would film getting ready from beginning to end. I actually have a girls date tonight with a couple of friends. I haven't been on a girls date in quite some time, but we're gonna go out to dinner and we're gonna have adult conversation and it's gonna be so fun. I don't think I've ever done a get ready with me from beginning to end, like hair, makeup, and outfit. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing tonight as well. So uh, let's jump right into it. Big elephant in the room, yes, I cut my hair, okay? I got it cut. I didn't cut it myself. Um, I got it cut because I, you know, if you guys have been with me for a while, you saw, you saw how blonde I went a couple years ago and I was ready to just, you know, the maintenance on that is insane. I didn't realize just what it takes to keep the blonde looking a certain way and blonde. Um, so I decided, you know what, it was too much. I'm gonna go back to my natural hair color. This is it right here, but I still have a few pieces left over here along the bottom that you see are a little bit lighter. So that I'm gonna continue to get trimmed, but I just wanted to cut most of the damage off because I literally had split ends, like literal split ends. To get started with hair, I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Olaplex number no. nine. This is their bond protector. I was getting a lot of tangling at the ends of my hair when I had it longer, especially because of all the damage that had been done to it. But with this, it was a lot smoother, a lot smoother. I did notice a difference whenever I would use this versus when I wouldn't. And so now I just use it all the time, but of course I just don't use as much. So I just go in with like half a pump. Really, you don't need a whole lot of this stuff, of course, if you have longer hair, then you're gonna need a little bit more, but for me, half a pump is more than enough. And then of course, a heat protectant. This one is the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. It helps to hydrate as well as protect from UV and heat. So styling tools, stuff like that. This leaves your hair smelling amazing. Amazing, 10 out of 10. And to dry my hair as well as give it some volume and give it a lot of shine, I am going to go in with the Dry Bar Blow Dryer Brush. This has been my favorite way to blow dry my hair because it does dry everything out like a blow dryer would and it also smooths everything out. So everything looks nice and silky and shiny and ready to go. <laughs> and other than separating my hair into two different sections just to make things a bit easier on myself, there's no there's no real method at this point. So we're just gonna blow dry it straight. Now I do wanna add curls today, not actual curls, but just like waves more so than anything. Um, so I'm taking my one inch barrel T3 curling iron. I'm gonna set it just like halfway, just like three little dots. I think that's like a 390, I wanna say. I don't remember. Now again, I'm gonna section my hair just to make it easier on myself. So I have just like a back piece. I don't really curl too much of the back, especially not the bottom because there's no need really with my hair being so short. But the longer pieces is what is going to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a curl. I've been so dry lately because of all of the cold and like how much we've had to run the heat. Uh, not normal, not for our region, for sure. I've been getting so dry here on the mouth. Like my lips, everyone's lips in this house are extremely dry and like peeling. Um, and I also got really dry here along the corners of my mouth. Can you guys see that? I yawned and completely split. So uh, yeah, having to make sure I moisturize the lip area a lot lately because man, it is dry. So now that the curling iron is ready to go, all I do is just take different pieces and I just curl away from the face, hold it for a little bit. And I don't curl all the way to the end because I do want the ends to be nice and straight. I just want that wavy effect, like that wavy look. You see like that? That's what I'm looking for. And I don't want all of my hair strands to be like that because then it's gonna look really, because I have short hair now, it's gonna look really like clumped up and not flattering whatsoever. So I wanna give it some dimension by only curling certain areas. So 
So there it is. For the most part, I am going to go back and kind of like finesse a few pieces, um, but I like it. I like the way that it looks. However, it is far too clean, far too silky. I mean, if you want it like that, which I sometimes do, that's totally fine. This would be perfect. But for today, I want volume. I want texture. I don't want my hair to feel so soft. I want it to hold. And so first I'm going to add a little bit of volume. This is from Unite. It is their expanded dust volumizing powder. Now this is going to give you a lot of volume because the powder itself is going to give you a lot of texture. So if you don't, it does feel bulky and it does feel like you have a bit of product. So if you don't like that feeling, this is probably not going to be your best friend, but it is very, very lightweight because it is a powder and it does cling onto the hair and it gives you inc like incredible volume, incredible volume that truly does last you all day long. So I always go with this. I have this cowlick right here that I just, I, I hate it. It's like in the worst possible spot. So I just add some volume around it and then that way it kind of blends in with everything. I like to use my volumizing um, powders here and also a little bit along the sides. Make sure you spread it around and bam. Now you've got volume. All right, so now let's take care of makeup. So let's start off with a primer first. I'm using the Milani Glass Skin Primer. I love the way that this stuff makes your skin look. This is not only gonna make the foundation look super luminous and radiant on top, but it is also going to help the foundation stay in place all day. Now you guys know I always start off with the brows and then work my way out. These are the two products that I'm gonna be using on the brows. These are my favorite. They have been my go-to for a while now. I'm using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso. And then I always follow that up with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. For the eyes, I'm going with these two today. This is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer along with the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette. This is by far my most favorite mini palette of hers. I love the formula, love the shades. I really wanna get her big one, her big glam palette. So just taking a little bit of the primer and placing it right along the lid and it dries down really, really fast. So I'm starting off with the deepest shade from this little palette and I'm just gonna place it here along the outer corner of the eye. Next, I'm gonna blend along the crease with a blending brush. This is the E25 from Sigma Beauty. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the deeper shade or the deepest shade rather, and grabbing that along with the lighter shade. So kind of mixing the two. And this is what I'm gonna to use to blend right here along the crease. So now I'm taking the center shimmer. This is kind of like an olive, like an olive gold shimmer. Love it. And I'm going to place this with my finger along the center of the mobile lid area. And I'm going to follow that up with this gold shimmer as well. So I'm taking the deepest gold in the palette. And this is kind of going to overlap the green and also lie on top of the green. So I'm going to tone down the green just a tiny bit by overlapping it. And then going back with the blending brush, grabbing a little tiny bit more of the deepest shade and blending out the edges. For lashes, I'm going with the Pacifica Fluffy Lash Mascara. I really love how much this lengthens and how much volume I get out of this mascara in just two coats. Moving on to the face, color correcting with my Becca and Smashbox Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Medium. And you guys know my trick. We're gonna apply a little bit of setting spray into there before applying it on to the under eye area. I'll leave it in the cards here if you have not yet seen that video, but the way that I'm concealing the under eye area lately, it's the way to go. It's truly the only way to do it. And I do have a drugstore version of it as well. So for foundation, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I am in the shade six neutral. I'm just gonna do one pump of that. I really don't need that much. It's a full coverage. It's a very high coverage foundation. So just taking that with my multitasker brush from Sigma Beauty. And for concealer, the Huda Faux Filter never 
ever lets me down. I am in the shade 3.5, yes, Sugar Biscuit 3.5. I'm just taking that with my BK Beauty brush. This one is their 108. Super soft and it fits perfectly under the eye. Now I'm gonna go in and set everything with my Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence. Just taking some of that with my powder puff. And this is what I'm gonna to use to brighten and set underneath the eyes. Going back to the eyes really quickly, I'm gonna line the waterline with my Flower Beauty Eyeliner. This one is, what's the shade on this? I love it, but I always forget it. It is Smoky Topaz. So just running this along my waterline. Look how much that makes the waterline pop. I love, love liners that make your waterline just like stand out. Those are my favorite. And then I'm going back to our mini palette. I'm grabbing a tiny bit of the deepest shade, just a small amount with the same brush that we used on the lids. And I'm just gonna pat this onto the waterline. Since it is such a deep shade, I don't wanna run it quite yet, like run it back and forth. Just wanna place it where I want it. Now, once I've placed it without adding any additional product, I just go back and forth to blend it out so that it doesn't look so harsh. And of course, mascara along the lower lashes, and that is it for the eyes. So for bronzer, I'm going with my Kosas bronzer. This one's in the shade medium, and I'm gonna use that to add blush as well. So I'm taking this with my Ultimate Bronze Brush from Sigma Beauty. This is the F78. Just grabbing some of that. I like using this particular brush when I am gonna be using bronzer for blush as well because look how easy it is. Just kinda tap it where you need it, which is here. I always bring it up the temple. I never take it along the forehead because my forehead is so small. I don't wanna give the illusion of an even smaller forehead. <laughs> and then I bring this down, not all the way to the apples of the cheeks, but stopping right there, just right before. And I do wanna contour just a tiny bit right there. So I'm taking my large angled brush from Sigma. This is the F42. And using my Sculpt palette from Sigma, this one is their Sculpt Highlight and Contour palette. I'm taking the shade Faking It because as you can see, that's the one that has the cool undertone and that's what we're looking for whenever we're trying to contour. And this I'm only gonna use here. And while we have this guy out, I am gonna add a little bit of highlighter to the brow bone. Just why not, you know, why not? Now for the lips, I've decided on this combination here. This is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Global Citizen, which looks like this, love it. And this is a matte lipstick from Oma Beauty in the shade Eartha. It is by far one of my most favorite favorite lipstick shades of all time. So I'm gonna line my lips with a liner and fill them in with the matte lipstick. You know what, I think my lips are way too dry for a matte lipstick, so I'm gonna cover them up with some lip oil, okay? This is from um, Beauty, Beauty Pie. It is their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. I love this stuff. All right, done with makeup. I'm gonna set everything. The stay spray, of course. Now, let's go pick out an outfit. And this is the outfit that I chose for tonight. So I'm wearing these nice like suede booties, super comfortable and they go with everything. I'm wearing black leggings. These are from Old Navy, as well as the turtleneck. So every, these two pieces, Old Navy, these, I don't remember, but if I can find them, I'll link them in the description box. And I'm thinking like a long sweater over top, and then I could also take a jacket. So let me pick out the sweater. All right, so this is the one that I have in mind. I just have to run a steamer through it because it is a little, it's a little wrinkled. And I'm gonna show you guys the coat that I have in mind to take along with me just in case it does get cold. 
Okay, so this is the one that I had in mind, but I am pretty sure that I do not love this combination. So let me see what else I have. Okay, it's not supposed to get below 60 while I'm out. So I think, I think I'll be good with just this very light sweater over top and long sleeve turtleneck with the leggings. All right, and with that, we are done and I am ready ready to go out tonight. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's Get Ready With Me and that you found it entertaining or perhaps helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah. Bye.